right hand over the top by Morrison. I think he should be throwing more punches at, at, at this point. Tommy Morrison beating Foreman to the punch in these early exchanges. George Foreman not yet started with the jab. Right hand to the body by Morrison. Right to the body by Morrison. Morrison continuing to beat Foreman to the punch, Riddick. George has got something up his sleeves. What at this point we don't know. Left hook by Morrison. There's the first thunderbolt, and the right lands behind it. Round one is a good one for Tommy Morrison. He wants Morrison to keep going to the body and then come up to the top. Punch stack numbers indicated that in the first round, Tommy Morrison threw four times as many punches. Would have opened Tommy up for something. Left hook by Morrison. There's a blunt left inside by Foreman. He misses with a sweeping right. Lands the jab. Beautiful. Right hand by Morrison. Let's see what happens when George is able to land a couple of more of them jabs. Jab landed for Foreman. Morrison comes back with two right hands. Both were glancing blows. Foreman lands the jab again, and again Morrison backs up just as you said he would, Riddick. Right hand lands for Foreman. Morrison momentarily stopped. Closing seconds of round two. That was the most effective blow so far for Foreman, and Morrison answers with a left hook and a right hand. A lot more jabs than Morrison threw in his last fight here on HBO against Carl the Truth Williams. Foreman lands a couple of lefts and follows with a right. And Morrison comes back with a left. Let's see what happens when Tommy has to take these jabs, these right hands, and, and, and gets winded. Straight left hand for Morrison. Loving left hand by Foreman. Tries to follow with a right and a left. Both miss. Morrison lands the left hook. Morrison tries to start the action as round four begins. We are evolving toward a slugfest as Tommy Morrison again lands the left, flush on George Foreman's face. Foreman throws the jab. Morrison answers with a left of his own. His battle plan, Jim. Right hand by Morrison. Knocks Foreman's head back a little bit. They trade punches in the middle of the ring. Tommy seems able to take George's stuff for the moment, Riddick. Yeah, I, th I think now we're going to fight. We're, gonna, we're getting into a good fight now. Punches together very well. Morrison again landing flush. Foreman still landing consistently. And there's the right hand over the top. Right hand lead by Morrison. Foreman clubbing with the right hand to the top of the head. Tommy lands a right and a left in return. against George Foreman, landing at a 28% rate. Morrison with a thudding left hook. Foreman comes back with the left. Right hand by Morrison. Right hand by Morrison. And again, Foreman takes it well. George comes back with the jab. Left hook lands for Morrison. I would like to think so. Left hook lands for Morrison. Of course, the danger for Foreman is few people thought that this fight could go to a decision. Again, they trade punches. And again, it is Morrison who beats Foreman to the punch. One thing George likes to do, Riddick, is to reach out and simply push Tommy on the shoulders to try to knock him off balance. Now, Foreman lands two right hands, and Morrison is a little bit more open than before. And Tommy needs to close his mouth because he'll get hit and break and get his door broken again. Sweeping left hook landed for Morrison. Short right hand inside by Foreman. Morrison comes back to the left. Veteran observers of Tommy Morrison wait at this point for him to lose steam and fall off the precipice. That's been the frequent problem. Morrison landing a right and a left and the right uppercut and Foreman momentarily off balance. Another right hand. Now Foreman lands a left and a right. They are matching power for power. Trade. Morrison lands an up. 
uppercut. Foreman relentlessly stalking. Closing seconds of round seven. It has been a very busy round for both fighters. Morrison lands an uppercut. Plenty of time for Foreman, you suspect, even if he is behind on points. Five more rounds to go. In a fight in which the tide seems inexorably to be turning in Big George's favor. Left hook by Morrison. And again, Foreman takes it well. Straight jab by Foreman. Low blow again by Foreman, and this time Morrison's hurt. Jim, the rule in the World Boxing Organization is, is that Tommy Morrison can take as much as five minutes. That was one of the reasons why George felt uncomfortable with Lane as the referee here. Now, ironically, it appears that Lane allows Foreman to get away with low blows without deducting a point. Tommy Morrison has been doggedly devoted in trying to stick with the jab. He's thrown 195 of them in the first eight rounds of the fight. This from the Morrison, who barely knew how to throw a jab against Carl the Truth Williams in January here on HBO. Morrison misses with the left hook, but seems to have a little bit of a second win. Lands a right hand. Foreman comes back with the right underneath. Tommy comes over the top with the left. Another left hook. Right hand landed for Morrison, but Foreman can't find the target, and the crowd cheers Morrison for his defensive prowess. Right hand as they break. I think if uh, George doesn't win the next three rounds, he loses his fight on the, he loses. George a little slow with the right. Tommy was able to duck the punch. Riddick, like you, Morrison's been given an opportunity. Uh, Justin, George didn't hit Tommy Lowe and they, they stopped. Yeah, it was a legitimate body punch, and Lane seemed to think it was another low blow. But then he motions Morrison to George comes forward again. Clubbing punch by Foreman, left-right combination by Morrison. And now Tommy effectively ducking again. Riddick, <laughs> had a job forever. Foreman lands a left hand and another left, and Morrison is temporarily woozy. Now Tommy comes back with a right of his own. Morrison having trouble breathing. Less than 30 seconds to go in the round. Dundee screaming at Foreman to double up on his combinations. Mills Lane once again stopping the action, and Morrison steps in with an assertive right. Foreman's corner up in arms because Lane has now finally deducted a point. Deducted a point for a low blow. I don't know why he took that, that point away. Well, you, you have to suspect, Riddick, that he's giving it everything he's got. He's 44 years old. He's no rapid mover in there. Relentlessness is his game, and he has had that tonight. Yeah, but I think George is also giving a good account of himself. Left hook for Morrison. Morrison all but running away from George Foreman now, and the crowd boos for the first time. They trade jabs, and Morrison's head snaps back. George still has that power. Good combination by Morrison. And no chance for Foreman to retaliate as Tommy runs away. George should be trying to set Tommy over the left hook and perhaps a right uppercut. Other than that, he's not going to knock Tommy out. Left hook to the body, right uppercut up and under? Pretty much, just like he just tried to. Foreman snapped Morrison's head back to the left. A very tired Tommy Morrison trying to stay away in round number 12. George Foreman has been hinting for months that this would be his last fight. The career that has seen so many ups and downs, so many incredible stops along the way, would finally be over 25 years after this.
this man was first introduced as a hero to the American public in Mexico City in 1968. You know the story. One minute to go in round 12. Is it one minute to go in the career of former champion George Foreman, one of the greatest heavyweights of all time? Let's watch. Harrison has made his own break, Jim. Uh, this fight was really about whether he can fight, whether he is a world-class fighter, and I think everybody will accept him as that when the decision is announced. Even though he's done it against a 44-year-old man? Well, there'll always be a caveat, but coming into this fight, that was what everybody was wondering. He's done it. He has to get credit for it. A lot of people thought Alex Stewart would get the decision over Foreman here a little more than a year ago. It appears that Tommy Morrison has done his job. Ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you the winner of this belt will be the WBO World Heavyweight Champion. We go to the start.